When sketching, having your diagram as close to the actual structure as possible results in the most accurate totals for your line items. However, not all rooms are rectangles. Often, there are bump outs, L shapes, or breaks in the wall. Adding these to your sketch is possible and quick with the square break tool. The square break tool is more commonly referred to as the break tool. To use it, determine which wall needs to be modified, then click on the break tool. As you hover the mouse over the wall, you can see dimensions for where the break will be when clicked. Note that these dimensions are on center, so the middle of the corner inside the wall will be at our break point. Practically, that means we'll have a few inches on either side of our break to account for the thickness of the wall. I'll click to place the break. Once there, the wall shows two handles, one on either side of the break point. I can click and drag on one of the handles to modify just that section and create a jog in the wall. Each segment of the wall now has its own handle when you select the room. Double check the dimensions and make any modifications as needed. You can also use the break tool to bump out a section in the middle of the wall. To do this, click on the tool and put the mouse over one end of the middle bump. Click and drag along the wall to the other end. When you let go, you'll now have three handles on the wall. Click and drag the middle handle as needed and double check the dimensions. Using the break tool gives you the flexibility in your sketch to make irregular rooms as accurate as possible, resulting in a more accurate estimate. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week. Visit exactware.com forward slash training for additional training on Exactware products.